All right, this is a funny little video to help you get real good at trig and get real fast with it. Um, so it happens all the time where you know um, how long a, a vector is, let's say, or a side of a triangle, and you're trying to figure out how long the other sides are. It happens all the time. And so, for example, here you're trying to figure out um, how long this side A is if we happen to know these two things. We know how long this is and we know this angle. So we want to know how long A is. So what you want to do, a way to think about this, is if you were to illuminate this thing from above, the shadow that it would project down um, onto the floor um, would be the length of this side A of this triangle. And so the idea is a useful picture of what cosine is, is it's, it, it is a projection of this thing down onto the floor, okay? So what it does is it gives the shadow of this hypotenuse um, along the side that's adjacent to the known angle. So anytime you're trying to find the side that's adjacent to the, no ang the known angle, that's gonna be cosine, right? Likewise, if you're looking for this other side, a good way to think of what sine even does is it's like a machine that peels off the shadow that's opposite the angle that you know. Right, so notice we happen to know the angle theta and B is on the opposite side. Right, so moral of the story is that if you're trying to find the shadow on the adjacent side, you're going to use cosine. If you're trying to find the shadow on the opposite side, you're going to use sine. Um, so let's mess around with this. Again, if you're finding the shadow on the adjacent one, going to be cosine. On the shadow on the opposite side is going to be sine. Um, so here we go. What we're supposed to do is figure out how long this side Z is in terms of the other things if they're known. Okay, well Z happens to be adjacent to the known angle. Well, so the shadow down here is going to be V cosine theta, right? Um, so take a second and here try this next one. You're supposed to figure out how long Z is. So pause for a second. Well, you notice Z is adjacent to the known angle again, so you actually get the same answer. It's V cosine theta because it's adjacent to the known angle. You're finding the shadow that's adjacent. Uh, let's try a couple more. Now what we're trying to do is find how long this side Q is in terms of the other known things. All right? so let's take a second. How long is Q? Well, notice it's opposite the known angle, um, so it's going to be P sine alpha. Right. Uh, let's play around with the next one. We're supposed to figure out how long Q is in terms of P and alpha. Again, Q is opposite the known angle, so this is going to be P sine alpha again. Uh, a couple more. Let's play around with it. So now what you're supposed to do is find this side alpha in terms of the hypotenuse and the angle. So again, just think about if it's opposite or adjacent and go for it. Um, so I'll pause here for a second. Uh, give them a quick try. Trying to figure out how long alpha is in terms of the other two things. All right, so let's give it a try. You notice here alpha is on the opposite side, so pat yourself on the back if you said it's beta sine theta. Um, notice here alpha is again on the opposite side, um, so it is again beta sine theta. Now here the side that we're looking for happens to be adjacent. See, it's right next to it. Um, so that's going to be beta cos theta to get the shadow that goes down here. All right, last one, last set of them. Now what we're doing is we're looking for this side alpha in terms of the hype, uh, a side G and a known angle, um, uh, the side V and a known angle called G. Um, so let's try it. Maybe try this first one real quick. Hint, hint, noting that alpha is opposite the known angle. So pat yourself on the back if you get V sine G. Um, let's do this one now. Looking for alpha. Uh, alpha is adjacent, and, uh, and so that's going to be V cosine G. All right. This one I was trolling you a bit. Something's different on this one. Um, let me pause for a second. You're trying to figure out how long alpha is in terms of V and G. So if you notice what's different here is here you're not looking for like 
one of the um, the sides that's next to the right angle. The alpha actually is the hypotenuse, so it's going to have to be bigger than v. So you can't multiply v by a trig function to get alpha because that would make a smaller number. Um, so the relationship between alpha and v is really that v is alpha cosine g. So v is actually the shadow that's adjacent to the angle. And so if you really want to know how long alpha is, you'd have to solve for it. Okay, so this was a tricky one. Um, and then let's do the very last one here. We're looking for, this one's not as tricky. You're looking for alpha the side in terms of v and g. Um, you notice alpha is opposite. Um, so uh, alpha is going to be v sine g. Right. So a way to get fast at this stuff, if you're looking at the side that's adjacent to the known angle, um, you get the shadow or the projection adjacent to the known angle by using cosine. And over here, if you want the opposite side, you're going to use sine. Um, so hopefully that helps. It'll make it pretty quick at trigonometry.